you know, in the 1960s, uh, Mrs. Bloomberg decided to build the uh, building on Plamondon and Westbury, where we are right now. And I remembered that opening ceremony. There was a ceremony when they put the shovel in the ground, the golden shovels. I know my father was a secretary for many years at the yeshiva. I was there watching him put up the mezuzah. They don't teach the same way in a yeshiva that they do in typical public or even private schools. In yeshiva, we are learning Torah. Learning Torah means connecting to Hashem and His infinite wisdom. Every Jew, a yid, has a neshama, a godly soul, that also need to be expressed. So the Rebbe tells us that the word of Torah is actually from the word hora'a, which means directive. The Torah is actually the manual telling a person how to live his life. So this is what we're giving the children. They don't teach you how to be a rabbi at McGill or Concordia. And they call this the Rabbinical College of Canada. 60 years ago, there was a group of people who put up this building, a brand new building. But buildings require ongoing maintenance. This project that we began last year, we were running against the clock. The school is used 10 months a year. We had exactly two months while the kids were on summer break to do everything. The funds were needed. So when I saw this, this project, that they were gonna actually fix the building and do it properly. There was 1,400 donors that came forward to make this project a reality. I said, this would honor my dad. He would be proud. Shiva educates young children who are going to be the builders of the future. Our children are our future. And when we can build them up to reach their full potential, then they can in turn become builders themselves and build the next generation. Well, the Rebbe used to say that staka was not only charity, it's the same word as tzaddik or righteousness. And it's almost a fallacy to think that when you give staka, you're, you're being charitable. Why charitable? Because charitable suggests that a more benevolent person is helping a less fortunate person or, or cause. But that's completely wrong because the money doesn't belong to you. It's God's money that you're a temporary custodian. God says he'll put it in the hands of people who will do the right thing. Sometimes these opportunities appear to me that it's only an opportunity to do the right thing. You have invested in my yeshiva, you have invested in me. An investment for the youth of today. An investment for the nation of tomorrow.
an investment for a brighter future. Because of you and all the other donators for this project, a multi-million dollar project, the building will now continue for another 50 or 60 years and develop the builders of tomorrow.